this is a puller what I used. I tried with the bolts, but I was afraid to broke them because they are rusted. So it was very tight. To remove this bracket, you should loosen. Here is a hex bolt. It's inside, and it's holding it to the shaft. As you can see, mine have a crack, so I'll go to replace it with another one. This is 28, 2852 and another one it's 2855 it's the same size you may not see it it looks like this and it's tightened it all the way inside so remove this, this bolt and after we'll be able to pull out this bushing now let's go to install to the new motor This is our new motor, so now we're gonna put it there. Just put the pulley back. Put the bolt back and don't forget to tighten it. Our bushing is back, it's tightened. Now we can put back the pulley. Actually we can remove the bolts because they will go in these holes. I mean, I think the meaning of these holes is to remove it. You're just tightening the bolts, they're pressing against the bushing and removing the pulley. I was, I used just the regular puller. So now I'm gonna remove the bolts and put this pulley back on the motor. Just hit it slightly with a hammer a few times. After you can put back the bolts and tighten it. Make sure the holes where the bolt goes are aligned. Motor is back on the compressor and now I want to, you can align it from here but from, if from here is too much because like if you will slide it to the left or the right it's gonna be more than one centimeter actually it's gonna be one centimeter here it's less here it's more so you can play with this bushing you can loosen you can loosen this bolt and you can slide it to the left and to the right and after you can tighten it back mine was too much to the right so I slide it to the left a little bit now I'll try to install the pulley and we'll see how the alignment looks Everything is connected. Now let's test drive. Now let's test drive. As you can see I replaced the engine and this is how you should connect it. It have a diagram right here. T1, T2 to load number 1, T8, T4 to load number 2. To reverse the rotation, invert T5 and T8. And this is how they go. This is T5 and T1 connected to load number one and another one is T8 T4 connected to load number three right here actually it's two because I'm not using this one connected load number one, load number two and ground. It has a few condensers. 
load number one goes to T4, T8, T4, T8, load number one. Load number two goes to T1 and T5. This is where the ground goes. We're done. We're already done with wiring. They're all connected. This is the ground. As you can see, the ground is connected to the engine housing. So now we can put everything back. And now we can put the cover back as it was. You want to make the compressor stop at the lower pressure you have here a screw you should turn it to the left or to the right if you want to if you want it to stop at the higher pressure turn it to the plus clockwise if you want it to the lower pressure just turn it counterclockwise I'm gonna make it lower now I'm gonna remove some pressure and after it should start and we'll stop before 150 psi You can see at 100 it started to work and it's gonna stop for 150 psi. As you can see it stopped before 150 and it's gonna go down to 100. When it's gonna be 100 it's gonna start working again and again up to 145.